access to insurance is an important part of the development agenda, helping to achieve goals in the area of agriculture, food security and health. It's also vital in helping us achieve the sustainable development goals. Well, for us, it's really important that everyone has access to insurance. And uh, with insurance, people can protect themselves um, against climatic risk or against uh, health shocks. So Germany is very happy to be a founding member of the Access to Insurance Initiative. Over the past 10 years, together with our partners, this initiative managed to put the topic of financial inclusion and especially the role of insurances on the political agenda. It showed many very good practices and examples of the relevance of insurances to actually achieve the SDGs. You will think of a woman uh, uh, working, uh, selling tomatoes in Kenya, and, and, and this particular woman, uh, every time, each and every morning, uh, the, the most basic issue is the stock. And in case um, there's fire in that particular market, that woman would basically lose the stock that he went with in the morning to sell. If that peril strikes, some families are unable to recover and return to a life of dignity. Insurance is the core, um, at the core of the next step in financial inclusion. Microinsurance is talking about a balance between commercial, what's, what, what's commercially viable versus something that people see as welfare. We are now using the knowledge generated from the early years as well as creating new knowledge. We're increasing our focus on um, capacity building and implementation efforts. This access to insurance initiative has played a very stellar role in supporting IAIS's activities. Insurance supervisors have greatly benefited from the framework for enabling financial inclusion framework specific to microinsurance in emerging markets. There was really big success over the last 10 years and you can feel it on the ground. You can feel that supervisors really have benefited uh, on the ground from what we are doing. The regulators in many countries are now aware that they can have a big impact on the market, developing the market to be able to, to serve unserved market segments. For the superintendents of Costa Rica, the, the support of A2II in strengthening in supervisory body has been uh, extraordinary. Uh, in fact, we are uh, implementing and specific regulations uh, to adopt and to promote uh, inclusive insurance in our country. But once I realized what it is that the A2II does, it has allowed me as a supervisor firstly to equip myself, um, to learn the best practices, to learn what my peers are doing, to learn what should work for a country like mine. We have had an innovation lab that we have worked on for the last uh, one year, and now we are at the implementation phase. It is very pleasing to experience what policyholders are experiencing because of uh, the, the piece of legislation that has been implemented. I think the most important thing it's that A2II is doing now is moving into the really practical support of supervisors through things like the consultation calls and the uh, different engagements that are taking place around the world closer to the regulators. Our new strategic plan which will launch in 2020 is uh, really recognising that we've had a very intensive period of standard setting within the IAIS uh, and now we need to move into a, a period of more focus on implementation of these agreed standards. So the role of the A2II will become more and more important. Not only helping regulators to understand what's happening in this massive digital economy wave that's coming our way, but to help to create the capacities within regulators to deal with this. Inclusive and responsible, these are big words and there's a big challenge behind that for smart and fair and legal and ethical insurance schemes. Moving forward, building off strong foundations, leveraging off partnerships, the HYI is well placed to continue providing supervisors with the support it needs to provide solutions to the excluded and underserved where it matters to them the most, their lives, their health and their families. For me, this is one of the most important organizations in inclusive insurance that there is. What happens here, they think about issues, they research issues, and they help regulators to understand some of these matters around inclusive insurance. And we're only 10.